Whenever I was first, uh, when I was, whenever I was first asked to do the, the, be a zombie in the movie, I didn't really have the Hare Krishna zombie part. They, were, they wanted me to do another part, and uh, one day I got a phone call and they said, "Well, we found somebody else to do that part. We're, don't worry, we're going to find something for you." So I was real kind of disappointed, but I said, "Okay, I'll wait and see what happens." So one day I got a phone call, and uh, they said, "We found a, we found another part for you." But it's got a little twist to it, so if you don't want to do it, you can say no, we won't be offended. I said, what's that? And they said, well, we'd like you to play a, a Hare Krishna devotee that, um, that became a zombie and you're going to have a scene in the movie. I said, well, that's fine. They said, well, you know, if you don't want to do it because of the religious overtones, it's all right. I said, no, I'd, I, would, uh, I would do it. So at the time, I was in a theatrical rock band, and we had... Um, a stage show that we did, and everybody in the band had a bald head. So that's how I already had the bald head, which probably inspired George to use a Krishna, because he was looking for a particularly different zombie for that role, because it was a transition point in the movie where Fran was, didn't know how to use a gun, and she was, felt kind of helpless, and depending on the other guys in the, in the uh, situation. But then after I found the hideout, and attacked her, she realized that at some point she may have to defend herself. And so she learned how to shoot a gun and even learned how to fly the helicopter. So it was a real pivotal point in the movie, and George wanted a character that stood out for that kind of a role. The most powerful recollection that I have of watching the film, it was almost 40 years ago, <laughs> so. But my, I brought my parents to see it. And I remember thinking, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> My parents don't watch movies like this. They're a very religious, very religious family. <laughs> and uh, that's the, I mean, that's the main thing that I remember about the movie. But it was all new to me. I never, I never saw a script. I, I had no discussions with anybody about what the movie was about. All I knew about the movie was there were zombies in the mall, and I was some of the zombies in the mall. And then I found the hideout, and I went and attacked the, the leading woman in the film. and. And then I was, my part was over, and they picked me up and tossed me in the, in the hallway, and that was it. It was the summer of 2007, and I, I did a, um, I guess it was an interview on MySpace with somebody, and they, they used my family name, and uh, they tracked down my, the guy tracked down my mother through the telephone book and said, you know, do you, uh, is your son the Hare Krishna zombie? And she said, oh, yeah, he's the Hare Krishna zombie. She says, well, I want to get a hold of him. Can you give me his phone number? And she said, well, I'd rather you give me your number. And if he wants to call you, then, you know, he can call you. So um, she called me one day and said, this guy wants to get a hold of you. He's from Los Angeles, and he wants to talk to you about your character. So um, I worked with him for a year, and we went out and did uh, uh, the first year of horror conventions was the 30th anniversary of Dawn of the Dead. But when I talked to the guy, I said, yeah, I'm the Hare Krishna zombie. Why? What's up? And he says, well, why aren't you doing horror conventions? You know, everybody wants to know why you're not doing horror conventions. And I said, well, it's a horror convention. He said, it's like a Star Wars convention, except it's for horror films. And so, oh, yeah, that sounds interesting. You know, he says, I said, but I can't do conventions. I just lost my job as a graphic artist. And I said, I don't have any extra money right now. He says, no, no they'll bring you to the convention. And I said, why would they do that? He said, so you could sign autographs. Well, you're kidding me, you know? <laughs> and he says, well, you think you could, you know, get some pictures together? I said, yeah, I'm, you know, you do some, put the DVD in my, in my computer and do some screenshots. And he said, just bump up the resolution and send them to me. And I chose a couple of, uh, couple of pictures from the movie, and he had them printed up. And I went to my first horror convention, not as a guest, was uh, Spooky Empire in Orlando. And I, I went there and I saw Tom Savini and. And uh, see, I think there was somebody else, somebody else from the film was there. But Tom couldn't believe it because I hadn't seen, I had never done a convention, and I had just come out with some action figures of my character. So I brought a, um, I brought an action figure and gave it to Tom, and he couldn't, he just couldn't believe it. You know, said, man, I can't believe it. How long has it been? Oh, Thirty years, you know. Well, this this is the first convention that's been do dedicated to uh, just the Romero films. So it's quite special, and, and um, Dave did a fantastic job. <laughs> He's sitting right over there off camera. 
And, uh, and it, it was just like a dream, you know. For him, a, a while ago, we uh, had a little group together on Facebook for uh, fans of the movie. And it just grew out of that, which is, I mean, I never expected anything like that to happen either. But, but everything's been uh, top rate, and I'm uh, really happy to be here. It's, it's, um, it's just amazing that somebody would go through all that effort to put together uh, a gathering like this just for the zombies from the, the movies and the actors, too. Yeah.